Minecraft. Technically good. No, no it's not. This is episode 59 of Minecraft Exploration and Tactics, as well as episode 7 of our new Exploration and Tactics world. And in the last episode, I had started the fight with the Ender Dragon, but he was basically just kind of owning me. Um, but I did keep attacking the Ender Crystals with snowballs. For today's episode, we'll kind of pick up there. I'll have a little bit of a montage at the beginning of a few more kind of fighting in the end that I was doing. But basically, I decided I was going to need to arm up. I was going to need to get some weapons and armor in order to take on the Ender Dragon. And so that is what we are going to do today. And as for the game being technically good, no, it's filled with glitches. And the end boss fight is not particularly fun for a variety of reasons. But nevertheless, we must trudge on because I said I'm not using iron until I beat the Ender Dragon. And so I've got to beat the Ender Dragon. So that's what we're going to try to do today again. Let's get started. Crap, crap. Ah. Not crap. Not crap, crap. Oops. Yeah. <sighs> So, based on my prior experience fighting the Ender Dragon, I think I'm going to have a hard time doing it without arrows. And so, I walked back to the jungle, which is actually not too far. Oh my gosh, these cows are so loud. Which is actually not too far away, uh, back that way. And I found some chickens, and I brought the chickens over here. And so we are going to try to breed some chickens. And then I will be able to craft some arrows, and then I will have a better weapon. Ha! <laughs> I hit the little chick in the face. I will have... Oh my gosh, they're so loud. Some better weapons for fighting the Ender Dragon. And I can obviously enchant a bow in order to get power one and things like that. I've been putting these little uh, blocks of cobblestone next to where the fence gate is, because I find that it's difficult to see the fence gate from a, diff from a distance. And, oh my gosh, those cows are so loud. But at the same time, it's nice to have an infinite supply of steak, which is a very good food. All right, so I'm going to have to take a little bit of time to breed up the chickens. In the meantime, I do not have that much gravel that I'll need for flints for creating my arrows as well. And so I figure we can just kind of go back down into the mines or whatever you want to call them below ground here. And I will dig up some gravel, and I don't think that will be particularly interesting. And this area is pretty well lit, so I'll probably cut this out as well. There's some gravel right there, and see you guys in a moment. I don't typically mine out gravel, uh, but the new experience system that makes me enjoy getting ores because of the little wind chimes, hooray, wind chimes, um, as well as the fact that I just needed the gravel in order to get some flints, made me dig out the gravel that was right here. There were two squares I could see, and all of this hollow area was gravel. There were a stack and a half, plus I got some flints, um, craziness. I didn't realize gravel came in pockets that big. Maybe it always does, and I just never go digging through it. But in any case, I am now going to have plenty of flints, and so now the only weak link will be getting some chickens to get some feathers, and then I'll be able to get some arrows. I've already done enough work, I think, in the end that I've disabled enough of the... 
oh, what are they called? I think they're called Ender Crystals, the thing that give the dragon kind of like extra health. Uh, that at this point, all I need to do is just be able to kill him. So we will go back there soon, hopefully. It occurs to me that I'm going to want a power one bow, at least, uh, for fighting the Ender Dragon. Oh, right. I have a maximal enchanting table right here, but this is easy to turn off because I believe like that, now it'll be really easy for me to get level one. Yep, great. Power one, awesome. So that will be useful, and I should also make a full set of uh, enchanted gold armor with at least level one enchants. And yeah, I'm just doing level one simply because I don't have any experience right now uh, because I've died so many times, the Ender Dragon. But that would be a smart thing to go ahead and get as well, and I can do that by just uh, fighting some enemies or even just killing off some of these cows. Some of these million cows. You are not actually here. There you are. Crazy SMP-like bugs. Uh, yeah, I need to kill some of them off uh, and then breed some more, and so that'll get me some experience as well, and so I can use that for some armor enchanting. If you can hear me, watch this. So when they're not interested in you, and then you switch to wheat, sometimes it takes a moment for them to notice you, but then when they do notice you, any moment now, all of them see you at the same time. And so it must be like every four or five seconds, uh, the game says, hey chickens, look around and see if there's some wheat, and all the chickens look around at the same time. And so I just find that very amusing. In any case, I have successfully bred up a lot of chickens over here, and so shortly I will start killing them for feathers, and then we'll have our arrows, and then we'll be ready to go back and try to take on the Ender Dragon once again. Crazy chickens! All right, and so I have projectile protection, blast protection, protection, and protection on my different armor pieces, which is great. And I've got an enchanted bow, and so and I've got plenty of food. I think I'm ready to go try and fight the dragon again. Great. I am down in the stronghold over by my little bed and chest, and I think I have appropriate inventory to go and try to kill the ender dragon. I realized I was just looking at the video that I recorded before, and I had one corrupted video segment, and so you didn't get a chance to me to see me killing chickens and crafting arrows, I don't think. Uh, but I made a stack of arrows from my chicken farm, and so I think that will make it easier to attack the ender dragon, especially with my power one bow. I'll be able to get lots of hit points on him. And the one other thing that I want to do is go ahead and sleep in this bed, and I think, yeah, it's just about to turn nighttime, and so I will wait for it to turn nighttime, I'll sleep in the bed, and then we'll go try to take on the Ender Dragon. All right, I confess I'm very nervous about this, because I don't know what I'm going to do if it doesn't work. But I do have, I can't remember if I've already shown you this, I did knock out kind of all of the, oh, I still have some loot left over from the last time I died in here. I knocked out all of the little healer thingies that are around here, and so, like, all of these are not... Nope, there it, that was the dragon. <laughs> Found him. Didn't even see him. Too busy talking to you all. And I've given myself a nice kind of place to stand over here. And so if I can just see the dragon before he comes... Ah! And actually manage to hit him... Where'd he go now? There he is. All right, and I think each time you fire an arrow at him, he does uh, turn away in general, like any way that you hit the Ender Dragon, I think he turns away. And I'm also, I think possibly, oops. Oh, oh gosh, I need to make sure I'm regaining enough health here. I think also if you manage to hit him with a snowball, uh, possibly there's a glitch where he doesn't do knockback, and I'm willing to take advantage of this glitch um, if it means that I can avoid getting through this fight, or avoid getting through this fight. And unfortunately, I think he may have, I see his arms flapping, but I don't think, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't think that he is moving. And so I think he may have fallen victim to the, if mobs get far enough away from you, the item timer kicks in. And I guess that's kind of a good thing from the point of view of it means I can sit here and regain all of my health, but now it means I have to go run after him. 
in order to have him actually come fly back at me so that I can attack him some more. And that puts me at risk of running into other Endermen. Okay, I just saw him turn around. He's headed back this way, I assume. I like being up on the perch uh, because I think both it makes it easier for me to... Nope, he has stopped in midair again. Darn it, darn it. I need him to get a little bit closer over here. I think it makes it easier for me to see him coming and also less likely that I'll accidentally look at an Enderman right as he comes around. I might have to move my little tower if he's going to do that a lot. So can I hit you with the... Yeah, all right. I hit him with a snowball. And so now I want to see... I should try to keep my eye on him somewhat. Basically, if he's going to keep flying out of range like that and getting frozen. Nope, this time it seems like he's still in range. And... Oh, but he managed to fly far enough away to where there was a healer over there because I see his health is back up. Darn. I think I am going to have to move this thing and I might have to take out some more of the healers. Yuck, yuck, yuck. All right, while the Ender Dragon is still far away over there, because I don't think... Yeah, I don't have any end stone on me, and any other blocks that I try to build a structure out of are going to break. So I'm going to mine up a bit of end stone here, and then try to build another one of these little platforms a little bit closer to the center, and we're just going to have to take a look if we need to take out any more healers. So I will do this off camera and see you guys in a moment. All right, I set up a new one in the center. Oops, crap. Yep, 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 yep. And I can see that the Ender Dragon is indeed healing from one of the healers that's over there, so I'm going to go and have to take out another healer. Uh, in the meantime, let me make sure the dragon doesn't kill me. But yeah, basically right behind this pole, there is one healer. Oops, crap, 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 crap. Oh, dear. Uh, and we'll just hope to stay alive and hope I didn't look at an Enderman. I think sometimes the Endermen end up teleporting after they get uh, hit by the Ender Dragon as well. So I think that's what I'm hearing over there. But basically behind this one, yes, there's a healer up here. And, oh, I don't know where the dragon went. I don't know if I just looked at an Enderman too. Let's see if any of those managed to hit it. Nope. Any of them? Nope, I'm going to have to pillar up there, I think. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Okay, from here, perhaps I can throw something that will hit that. It's very hard to get the exact precise angle that you need. All right, I'll have to pillar up higher. I'll use my nether rack. Oh, nerve-wracking. At any moment, the dragon could hit me off, and then I will be dead. <laughs> there it is. Okay. All right. Great. That healer is taken out while I'm up here. Let's take a look quickly. There's a healer way over there, uh, but I don't think that one's going to be in range. There's a few healers actually over here. I wonder if I can hit any of them. All right, got that one as well. I bet you that one's going to be out of range. And I have no idea. The dragon must have gone like back to the center of the island or something where he is like frozen away is my guess. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to hit this one. But I also think it might be far enough away that I don't have to worry about it. And so, yeah, and I still have plenty of snowballs. Let's get a few more on the bar. I will try to climb back down and go back into the center of the island. And perhaps now I can start attacking the dragon again and he won't be able to regain health. So I'll make a cut and see you guys there. Nah. Where's the dragon? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Darn it. All right, I'm really worried 
that this battle is unwinnable in my current condition and that I might need, I don't know, diamond armor or I don't know what. But I thought if I was surrounded kind of by, what do you call this material? Endstone? I would be in good shape uh, and the dragon wouldn't be able to kind of knock me out of my little perch. Uh, but that is not the case. Uh, the dragon is still owning me up here. Oh, I see. I need, I'm going to need a pick. And it'd be really swell to put on some armor, too. I don't know if I'll get a chance to put it on before the dragon comes and kills me again. I'm already low enough on health that I think even with the armor, I would die. Let's look quickly and see if we see the dragon coming anywhere. I do not. So let's shift click. Doop, 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 doop. Get a couple of items in the appropriate spaces. I still have my arrows. Great. Um, I forgot to get a pick. There is the dragon. All right, let's make sure that he doesn't get me on this pass. He is flying up. Okay. Let's get a pick on the bar. I won't bother closing it up since it doesn't seem to help. Okay, there's the dragon. And he does have reduced health. And so now I guess I just kind of wait and make sure I don't look at the ground. And eventually he should start flying towards me. All right, and I got one good arrow hit in him. And I hear Enderman teleporting all around. But I don't see him able to heal, so that is great. And now I just need him to start coming closer and then see how much these Power 1 bow hits are actually going to take off. Maybe this will be doable. Um, fly closer to me. Please. And apologies if you can't see very well on the screen. The end is not a very bright place. Um, I could see, now that I've got Vegas, if I can do something to kind of brighten the video in post-processing. Oh, but these arrows are doing a significant amount of damage, even just power one. Like, I've only gotten two or three arrows in him, and he's already down, I don't know, 10%? And I keep calling him a he. I think we've had this discussion before in the end of crafting, I think. Notch said it was actually a she, and he named the dragon Jean or something. All right. And so here comes another good pass. Let's get close. Fire an arrow. See if I can get a second arrow. No. All right. But arrows are doing a significant amount of damage, and so if I can manage to stay alive, I think this will be good. And if I had good aim, it would be even better. But so far, so good. Oh, crap. Oh, boy. All right, I managed to actually stay inside my little cubby. Whatever you want to call it here. Oh, there's a dragon again. Darn it. All right, if I can just manage to stay alive, then it just takes us some patience, I think. Oh, crap, 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 crap. Oh, my goodness. All right, I need to be up here so that I can look around safely and see the dragon coming. Oh. Because every time you shoot it in the face, it veers off rather than running towards you. And so that gives you a chance to avoid another attack, which is exactly what I need. Time to heal. All right. And I am continuing to heal. I have a full stomach, so we're good in that department. I got a couple more arrows, and the boss health is down to like 60% or something, which is outstanding. Ah, so how's everybody's day going? <laughs> that office is a pretty good show, huh? To steal a line from Etho, when all of a sudden you need to fill the silence. Oh, crap, crap, crap. All right, managed to fend him off. All right, we're doing pretty well. And it just occurred to me, if I do kill the Ender Dragon, the Ender Dragon drops like 40 billion experience balls, and I have like no diamond tools to enchant. Um, I guess I have three diamonds back at home. And I guess I'll just try to pick up as few uh, experience balls as possible and then go back home. And then I think since they're in the end, they won't despawn if I never come back here. And I could wait and go mine some more diamonds to have some more materials and then come back and pick up some more experience balls to use to enchant. I'm calling them experience balls. I believe they're called experience orbs is the correct name. And 
Here comes another attack. Okay, great. Here's a shot. There's a miss. And I'm pretty sure I still have at least another 30 arrows or something, and so I think I have enough arrows to finish them off with arrows. And I also have snowballs, and I have the sword just kind of a last resort. And I probably shouldn't fire those misses, and I should just wait for him to come almost right towards me. All right, come on, come on. You can do this, Brian. Just need to continue to concentrate, because you do not want to die, because I think every time you enter the end, it resets the boss's health. So I need to stay alive. Stay alive, Brian. You've got to stay alive. Ah. Darn it. Don't waste arrows. Ah, darn. But yeah, the snowballs for taking out the... Like, it took me a lot of death runs, suicide runs, in order to take out all of the ender crystals. But snowballs are really cheap to get. Um, you know, even on day one of the game, effectively, I think he might have flown far enough away where he's out of range. And I don't think I'm going to be able to hit with arrows there. And so... I am going to go ahead and quickly do item repair on a pick. And I'm going to swap which sword I have in my inventory. And I'm going to get some snowballs on the bar. And I'm going to make sure my stomach is completely full. <sighs> and then I'm going to walk slightly over in that direction without looking at Enderman. Okay, and so that is back towards the back of the island. All right. And I'm going to go over here just enough to where I see the dragon moving again. Yes, dragon is moving again. And did manage to heal somewhat, which is a bummer. Oh, crap, crap, crap. Oh, dear. Where'd you go, Gene? There you are. All right, but we're still, we're still in okay shape. We're healing. All right, we're doing fine. We're doing fine. Come on, Brian. You can do this. Yeah. And the second one. Oh, I missed the second one. Darn it. It's very hard to get that second shot. Oh, darn it. I'm also not sure exactly what the dragon's hitbox is. Oh, what was that I just heard? That must have been an arrow dropping that I fired almost like directly up in the air. I'm glad I didn't hit myself in the face with the arrow. Yeah, it's definitely easiest to hit the dragon when it comes swooping directly at you. And in fact, I'm not sure that any of my arrows have hit other than when the dragon was doing one of its direct attacks. So come at me, bro. There we go. Boom. All right, down to about, what, 30% health or something? Here comes another run. Boom. I'm always firing two arrows and never hitting the second one. Come at me. Ah, I think there was lag on that arrow. No, really. Oh, go, 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 go. Oh. I do not like it when you come and attack me. Crap, I just lost you. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Oop. Sorry. Finger slipped. Oh, so close. One more hit. One more hit. I'm totally going to do this. Patience. Patience. Stay on target. Oh, I want to bash him over the head with a crafting table like I did not do at the end of the end of crafting. But I did not bring a crafting table with me, so we'll just have to shoot him with an arrow. Or her with an arrow. Come on, dragon. Come at me. You know you want to. You know you want to. Tacy Brian, right down here, just waiting to get knocked out of the park by your crazy knockback effects. Yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Boom! All right. Boom goes the dynamite. And now we have this awesome animation that has no sound effects still. All right. And now I just need to... Avoid as much of this experience as possible, because I expect it'll be a ton. Yep, I'm already up to level 38. Okay. Great. And so, I've beaten the Ender Dragon. I am released from my own constraint. I'm not going to watch the end credits. Of not being allowed to use iron. And now I have 38 levels, and I can go try enchanting a pick again. So this is super, super cool. And, yeah, we're going to go enchant a pick, hopefully get some fortune go mine some more diamonds, and then go back to the end and see if we can collect the re rest of those experience orbs, assuming they're still there. And then we can do a ton of enchanting, and then we can really jumpstart this world. So that's what I'm looking forward to. I hope you enjoyed watching. This is probably a good place to cut it, even if it's been a short episode. I have no idea. 
But I hope you guys are having a great day, and I will see you again soon.